Hi everyone, it's Tammy, and today we are going to be doing the craft, the project, I guess, for my card class in February. And I know that that has long passed probably by the time I post this video, but I wanted to make sure that I showed you guys. Now, I created this off of looking at a website to make this window shade for a wine glass that you put a tea light in and it makes like a cute little window or a lampshade for the wine glass. So it will look something like this. Now the wine glasses that I got at the dollar store are a bit smaller and they aren't as tall as this. So I wanted to make sure that I didn't cover this completely and that I had enough room still to make it so that this would fall down nicely and you could see the light through it. And so what I did is I thought four inches would be tall enough and I'm thinking that it will be. I'll have to check with the wine glasses at the dollar store to ensure that because I have not yet done that. But so what I did is I just eyeballed, honestly, a four, well, I didn't, I didn't eyeball the four inches. I measured four inches and I just eyeballed the shape so that I could then make sure that this stayed four inches all the way around so this is a four inch like half of a C so it ends in four inches and it began in four inches and I did it on an eight and a half by eleven piece of paper so let me show you how it looks on that piece well let me show you on a different color so that if you wanted to make one of these you could too so an eight and a half piece by eleven piece of paper and I started off with it kind of lined up on the side here so it was straight here and then I did four inches all the way around and then this one kind of angles down like that but if you start with a straight edge like this it kind of works pretty well so uh, yeah maybe you guys can eyeball this shape and I'll write four inches on here so that you will know that this is four inches well Dagnabbit, this is four inches from there to there. <laughs> Woo wee, that didn't do very well, did it? Maybe I should do it on this side. So this is four inches from here to here. And then it's four inches just consistently all the way down. And it's just again cut like this. I actually had a circle that I used for this one, but I didn't have anything to use with this one, so I just carefully took the ruler and moved it down and marked so I knew where to cut. So once you have your template, you can pretty much do it on any paper. And I got some really cute paper for the card class and this is just a piece of cardstock that I had in my house so I'm going to use this and I'm actually just going to try to fit it the best way onto this paper so I can still have some to use for another time so I'm going to take a colored pencil and just outline whoops this template so that I know where to cut this out and this project is actually really easy, especially once you've made the template. And the template literally took me all of five minutes or less to make. It really didn't take very much time at all. The hardest part, I guess, would be knowing how deep you want your lampshade to be. If you want it longer than four inches, you can do that too. Okay, I can see that line. I don't know how well you guys can see it but hopefully you guys can see it a little bit. And I'm going to take my paper cutters, or my scissors, not my paper cutter, and I'm going to just cut off the majority of that so that I can have that for another project. And then I am just going to semi-carefully cut this template out. So the card class is actually Thursday. Like I said, I don't know when I'm going to post this up there, up on YouTube. I'm Today is Tuesday. I'm just making this so that I'll have a couple templates to share with everyone and to show you guys how to do it because I think it's a really cool project and I had not done it yet and I just thought that this would be something that we could put in our offices or in our cubicles at work or we could use it at home and because it uses a battery-operated 
tea light if you, I mean, I, I don't think I'd put a candle in here just because this is paper. I would be too scared that this would catch fire. So use a battery operated one just to be on the safe side. And then this can be thrown out. And now this is double sided, so I could actually do it so I could have it on this side with the polka dots or on this side with the design. And I kind of liked the design, so that's where I was going with it. But you could be you, do what you want, pick whatever you want, whatever matches. And then I'm going to put some double sided tape on this. And then I'm just going to bring it around and I'm going to carefully match the sides up. So that it comes together. I'm just peeling off any excess tape on both sides. And there's our lampshade. And if you wanted to do like a solid color and decorate it some way, you could certainly do that. Or if you wanted to... Um, punch holes in it or something like that so that the light would shine through it. I think that would be really cute too. So this, these tea lights, they work by you pulling out this little battery holder and then turning it on and hopefully it works. Yes, it does. I got these at Hobby Lobby and then you can stick it in there and it's a flickering kind so it's really kind of cute and then it would flicker and I mean I have the light on and it's actually too short for this cup. I wish I would have gotten an extra cup for myself. I do, but it's already at work. But see how this doesn't fit down over the glass exactly? I know that this will fit because these are way bigger than the ones that I got at the dollar store for everyone. But isn't that just cute? It's just a really cute idea. Really simple. If you wanted to put some rhinestones on it, you could. Anything. I just thought that this was a really cute idea and it will be fun to share with everyone and it was fun to share with you guys. So I hope that you try it. I hope you like it and I hope that you enjoy and maybe you will see one in my office the next time I do a video there or maybe even I'll do one here at home. I don't know. Maybe the, the you know, the the possibilities are endless. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.